To begin with, it may be surprising to know that radiation is something we live with every day. Far back in time, back before there was an Earth, there were flaming fireballs in space. We call them stars. And there are millions upon millions of them. Each star, like our own sun, is a raging nuclear furnace that shoots out showers of particles too tiny to be matter as we conceive it, along with invisible forces that we call radiation. This radiation and these particles travel through space at fantastic speeds until they strike some other matter which may make new flares of radioactivity. They strike wandering asteroids, moons, and planets such as our own. Everything in space, Earth included, receives this radiation. Skies partly cloudy this afternoon, clearing by... Background radiation is all around us in tiny quantities. Nature even planted unstable atoms deep inside the Earth itself. They decay one by one, here and there, in a barrage of inconceivably small and silent explosions. Each explosion is another spark of radiation. All life on Earth has reached its present form in company with radiation from this naturally occurring radioactivity. Extremely thin, with extremely low level intensity, it has always been with us. It is nothing new. We don't worry about the small amounts of natural background radiation. But to safely handle larger amounts, we must keep our distance and shield ourselves. For as the amounts increase, so do the dangers. <laughs> 